Hey guys, Chantal here again. Just want to say thank you for all of your support. I received a lot of messages over the past few weeks, each of you showing me the work that you've created with the help of my tutorials, which I just love to see, so thank you so much. I have a fun double half hitch knot square knot pattern for you today. What I want to highlight is how this is a common diamond pattern that I've alternated a bit to create a completely different look. As we go through, I'll show you how I did this. Let's get started. For your setup, cut six pieces of four millimeter string, each piece is two meters in length. Fold each piece in half and attach three on the left and three on the right using lark's head knots with about 1.5 inches of space in between them. I left a bit more space here, but I adjust later on in this tutorial. Using the fifth cord from the left as your filler cord, tie four diagonal double half hitch knots working to the left. Using the sixth cord from the left as your filler cord, tie four diagonal double half hitch knots working to the left. Repeat on the right side of your work. I'll adjust this slightly by moving the groups a bit closer together. By leaving space in between the sides of this diamond pattern and not tying the first double half hitch knot which connects the sides of the diamond, you can see how I've created a completely different look. I've added a photo on the right side of the screen for reference so you can see what I mean. Tie a square knot with the four middle cords. Tie two alternating square knots underneath the first square knot. Tie one alternating square knot underneath the second row. Using the second cord from the left as your filler cord, tie four double half hitch knots. Using the cord on the left as your filler cord, tie four double half hitch knots. Repeat on the right side of your work. Repeat this pattern until you've created a design of your desired length. I'll show you what this design looks like after repeating this pattern again. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, it would really help me out if you could hit the thumbs up below, and if you think this tutorial may be useful for others, please feel free to share it. 
I love to see your work, but sometimes I can miss it, so please tag me on Instagram or Facebook if you've used one of my tutorials or if you're using some of my supplies so I can see your work. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly video tutorials. Thank you.